So this is an EnviroFlow system uh, right here. The EnviroFlow is set up similar to other systems. So if you uh, really dive into septic systems in general, a lot of them, as far as if you look at them from a CAD drawing standpoint, and you look at a cutaway, they're very similar. There might be some nuances as far as uh, size is concerned with the amount of aeration, uh, the how big the trash tanks are, how big the pump tanks are. But in principle and in design, they are very, very, very similar. So uh, on this system here, you have a trash tank, you have your aeration chamber, you have a wall here, and then you have what's called the clarification chamber. So <clears throat> these systems work similar to the other systems that we've uh, been showing in our series where the uh, wastewater comes in, goes into the trash tank, it settles in this, um, and then it goes into the, you have a zone in here where the, uh, there's a pipe in here, and you have a zone, what's called the clear zone. That water then goes into the aerobic chamber. The aerobic chamber then stirs up everything, injects air. You have an aerobic bacteria colony in there, and that breaks down the organics really rapidly. So you have a clarification chamber here. Uh, this wall here blocks because the air is getting stirred up in a circular motion. We call it rolling. So it's rolling in the tank and what this wall does is it keeps the water in this chamber here still so that the solids that are stirred up, the little particulates that are stirred up can settle out and go back into the aerobic chamber um, <clears throat> and you don't have to have a pump or anything to do that. So that's why there's a angle at the bottom of the tank and it, and it helps it push it back into this tank here. What that does is it gives you a, a high high clarity on your water. So there's a test, it's NSF or GTC, and it's a standard by ANSI. What happens is uh, all aerobic septic systems that are advertised, they'll say GTC or NSF, or they could be some other um, <clears throat> organization that does testing as well. Uh, they follow these guidelines. So as long as it is certified by one of those, it can be installed um, and there's, you know, all, they're, they're approved by the states to be installed. So uh, the manufacturers really didn't want to take um, a, they don't really want to change the, uh, there's no, you know, there's the same, if it's not broke, don't fix it. So they kind of use the same, it's not a patented design or anything like that, so they kind of use the same design and they make some changes here and there. Uh, you know, some do better on some things and some do better on other things. Uh, but that's basically the gist of it. It's very important, when these come out, <clears throat> they're very heavy. So big cranes come out and they move them. The cranes are attached to the truck, uh, just like on the clear stream and they set them in the ground. <clears throat> it's very vital that the, we've seen them uh, more than on one occasion where this inlet here, the tank is actually higher than the inlet coming from the house and water will get stuck in this pipe here. Uh, you start getting backups. Not all the water flows into the tank, creates problems. So elevation is important when they're setting the tanks on any all-in-one. It's important that they're shooting a transit. What they'll do is they'll shoot on the four corners and then the middle. So they'll do one here, do one here, do one here, um, <clears throat> and, and so on and so forth to make sure that it's all the same height and then they set the tank and it's nice and level. Because the tanks are designed, all the tanks are designed. So the effluent comes in and then it goes to the next chamber. So each successive chamber is a little bit lower as far as where the water is so it can flow through the system e evenly. Now on this particular system, there's no pump tank uh, and some of the systems come like that where they're just like this um, and that would be a setup where you're gravity feeding into leach fields like up north or where the soil allows you don't need a pump tank and you can just gravity feed out you would install a septic system like that in texas generally this would have an additional chamber on it on this side here and it would be the pump tank and there would be a pump in it and it would pump it out so uh, those are some of the things we're going to show some other systems. We have some other uh, 3D printed models coming where we'll show you and they'll be pretty similar in, to this design here. Um, 
you have a lot of manufacturers. Hoot makes one. Uh, Hoot also makes one with a with a cone in it. Uh, it's a different kind of cone. It's a, a little bit different angle than the round cone. Uh, it does a really good job. Has some more air drops in it than just uh, one diffuser drop like like these generally have. Generally, the diffusers are back here on them. Um, <clears throat> Uh, the Jets and Norwecos are very similar. They just have a different aerator. It's, you know, spinning in here. Uh, but the uh, tank structure is very, very similar. So uh, that's pretty much it. These tanks are good because they're easy to clean out. I mean, you can open up the, you know, the lids on them. You can get your hose in there. You can clean them out really well. You can, everything's very visible. Um, it's easy to clean this chamber out. You can clean this chamber too. Generally, when you clean this chamber, you can get everything out of there. There's not much room in between, you know, from here to here. So you can, generally all the stuff that gets stuck here comes out when you're cleaning it. Uh, you can maintenance them easy. The diffusers come out. Uh, diffusers generally on these are high blow diffusers. They're uh, what we call a long bar diffuser. Uh, they don't generally clog up. They're a very good diffuser for uh, wastewater treatment on homes. They're more of a coarse bubble. They don't need a lot of maintenance. Uh, they did a really good job on designing that diffuser. So uh, on this particular one, EnviroFlow makes a system called New Water, and it's a little different setup uh, where it has, there's some pipes in here and it pumps back here and it's, it's for cleaner water in certain areas. There's certain rules. In Washington, they put the, uh, aerator here so for you people in washington state we don't like that we think it's a terrible design and part of the problem is we think on that is the designers aren't really installing them and then they don't see the maintenance that is required and we've seen six months and a new aerator has to have what happens is condensation or something builds up in here these are below grade the water cannot leave submerges the aerator and then the aerator needs to be replaced Every other state, we put the aerator outside of the riser. Uh, it's up on some blocks, it's close to the system, um, and it's out of the view. It doesn't make any noise, so uh, being out of this uh, riser is, is preferential to being inside of a riser. We will say that. So uh, that's it. We're gonna go into some Washington rules that we think should change on the state level where it's just mandatory they're not in there in a different video but um, we'll just go from there. So this is a um, EnviroFlow system. Um, that's what it was modeled after. Uh, and there's a lot of systems that look like this and we'll be showing you those in some subsequent videos. So if you guys have any questions or comments, please ask them and we will answer them for you uh, if they're within our ability. So septic systems, as you can see, are pretty simple. So you have this components, but you don't have very many moving parts. You got an aerator, you got a pump. It's hooked to a control panel. So um, it's not overly complicated. Uh, you know, you have two parts that uh, need to be replaced or repaired, uh, and everything else is pretty much set in stone. Nothing needs to be done. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them, and we will be happy to answer them. Remember to like and subscribe. Have a great day.